Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Hope you guys had an awesome, awesome trading day today. Very, very strong market today. All three major indices in the green. S&P 500 up 0.20%. NASDAQ up 0.37%. And the Dow 30 was up almost 40 points, 0.20%. You can see my portfolio here in the green up $263.33, representing 0.86% of my overall portfolio in normal trading hours with a little bit of pullback in after hours trading, 0.02% uh, down, $6.72. Uh, portfolio right now sitting just under $30,734. And you can see here, uh, save a few minutes here in early uh, pre-market trading. Uh, it really shot up here before noon or so and kind of uh, held some pretty good gains there at one point up uh, $400, 400 plus dollars before sliding a little bit here in the later afternoon trading, the ending uh, up, like I said, 0.86%, $263.33. A lot of that has to do with one of my stocks in particular here, Portola. Uh, so it was announced today Portola had some major, major funding from two different pharmaceutical companies uh, helping produce one of its new breakthrough products that as I talked about in a few other videos, was denied by the FDA a few months ago, which really made the stock tank its price. Uh, we can see that here. Uh, a couple different products. So this uh, first one here did not pass FDA approval, and you can see it kind of uh, tanked the stock here. And then right here as well, there was some anticipation leading up to the FDA uh, decision. It ultimately did not uh, approve that drug, and you can see here it also kind of tank the stock a bit and uh, since that time it's trended out a bit kind of hanging around in the uh, 18 19 dollar range and with today's announcement put that back up over 20 dollars uh, i was able to do a little bit of a swing trade today made about 150 dollars or so uh, because i had bought that stock when uh, essentially it was um, down in this range here oops uh, the 18 and 17 dollar range i went ahead and bought about $1,500 worth of stock. Uh, made a little bit of a swing trade over the last week here. Very, very nice little trade. And as you guys remember, this is one of the two stocks I've been doing a lot of swing trading in. The other one has been Ford here. And Ford has had a pretty good week or so. Excuse me, a pretty good month or so. Over the last week, it's been up and down. And this is really the kind of stock that you can do a lot of day trading in. Uh, when it hits the dip here, you buy. And when it pops up, you sell. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Uh, using that strategy I talked about in a few other videos, where essentially you buy, you know, essentially, let's say you buy 10 shares here. When it hits the peak, you sell five. When it's down again, you buy 10, you sell five. So when it peaks out, you never really sell off your entire stake. And then when it peaks, you buy about twice what you sold off. And if you keep doing that over the long term, you'll make some really good gains. Uh, whether those are swing trades or day trades, same day trades, either way. That's a very, very good uh, trading strategy. At least it's worked out for me so far. And as you can see, a lot of green uh, as I scroll through my portfolio here. Let's start at the top. Uh, a lot of green throughout my portfolio. A few stocks in the red, but for the most part, uh, very, very good day. The stocks in the red, you can see, trended down just a bit. The stocks in the green have trended up quite nicely. Uh, Young Brands and Archer Daniels Midland down a bit here, almost at 1%. Uh, Kimberly, uh, excuse me, is that Kimberly Clark? Yes, Kimberly Clark here uh, trended down as well. Uh, but overall, the uh, stocks in the green more than made up for the few stocks that are in the red. So yeah, very, very good day trading today. Uh, I didn't really have a topic uh, necessarily to talk about today other than uh, some of my swing trades with Portola and Ford. They've been working out very, very nicely. Um, if you guys are so inclined, take a look at those stocks. They, they've been treating me very, very well over the last three months or so. Portola also has a very big decision coming up in, I think, February, March, uh, another round of FDA approval. And with its uh, recent backing of two major pharmaceutical companies, one being Pfizer, which I actually own here, um, I, think it's, I think it's got a great, great chance of uh, actually getting that uh, new breakthrough product uh, approved. If that does happen... I see the stock shooting up, uh, if you guys remember as well, shooting back up to uh, some of its highs over the last few years here. At one point, the stock was trading you know, really in the $50 uh, to $60 range. 
uh, $40 range here before uh, kind of pulling back quite a bit here. And this is really at historically low uh, prices for this particular stock. Even with its IPO and initial offering, it was, you know, $23, $24, $25. So I think it's a very good play. Um, if you can't get out of a swing or day trade, you know, hold that until March uh, when that FDA decision is coming out. And I think, I think you'll make some money. Uh, but yeah, uh, as uh, I always say, invest at uh, your own risk. Uh, none of these trades, none of these plays are guaranteed. So I like it. Others may not like it. It is definitely a speculative play. It is a little bit of gambling uh, when it comes to the FDA approval process. But with uh, Pfizer and another very large pharmaceutical company giving the uh, company $50 million to continue development of that drug, I think the uh, chances of getting that approved by the FDA are very, very likely. And if that happens, that Stock, I, I can see it shooting up uh, 100 to 200 uh, percent. But anyway, uh, just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my portfolio today. Another very strong day. It's been surprisingly strong since the election. Um, I thought the stocks were going to tank uh, with the new president-elect coming into office, but that has not been the case. It's been a very, very strong market. So yeah, let me know what you guys uh, have done with your portfolios of recent, what you guys uh, did today, if you guys were in the green uh, or uh, exactly what happened with your portfolio. So let me know. So I'll kind of end the video here. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Building the channel, having a ton of fun of learning about the markets through your guys' comments. Uh, if there's a video that you want me to put out, let me know. Always looking for new ideas. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll kind of end the video here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.